Hi everyone, if you are looking for a printer that you can do sublimation printing on and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a sublimation printer such as the Epson Workforce or Sawgrass, then this video is for you. You can convert the Epson EcoTank 2720 into a sublimation printer for less than $240 and you would be amazed how simple it was to do. First, I purchased the Epson uh, printer, which I found at Target for $1.99, and the Supplementation Ink on Amazon for $22.99, and I also purchased plastic containers to store the original ink in um, for $8.99, and I found that on Amazon, uh, which you may or may not have something at home you could use. Um, that's up to you. Anyway, I am going to walk you through the process of what I did to convert my printer and show you how easy it is. The printer comes with ink, so you'll notice the bottles have a unique top on them. Um, the top is like a key and it fits perfectly into the ink cartridge, so you can fill the ink with the color not spill. Um, so I use those specifically. Um, so. I already converted my printer, so I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, first, you'll need to remove all the ink from the original ink bottles, the original Epson ink bottles, and you'll need to remove the top from each Epson ink bottle. I did mine one, in, one at a time. Um, you'll need a container to pour the original ink into. Um, I purchased my plastic bottles on Amazon, and I transferred the original ink into those bottles, and then I just set them aside in case I wanted to use that ink on a different printer. Um, then you'll need to clean all the original Epson ink bottles and try to remove as much as the ink as possible and then let them dry completely. Um, you'll, you may notice that you still have a little color on the tip of the bottle, which is fine. Just try to do the best that you can. Um, I recommend buying um, sub ink that or sublimation ink that is specific for the model uh, printer. Um, the sublimation ink I purchased from Amazon was specifically for um, this Epson ET2720. So anyway, before you pour the sub ink into the Epson bottles, you'll need to make sure that the Epson bottles are completely dry and um, you'll want to do that. That's very, very important because you don't want to damage the ink or the printer. So I waited an entire day. Uh, once it's completely dry, you'll pour the sublimation ink into the Epson bottles for that specific color, uh, black in the black bottle, magenta, magenta, and so on. Um, and that's all you need to do to convert the printer into a sub printer. Um, once you convert the printer to um, sublimation, I would recommend only using it for sublimation and sublimation ink. So that's all there is to it. It's super easy. And if you decide to convert your printer to sub printer, I'd love to hear from you and, and how these steps helped you. And if you like this video, um, if you did like it and hit subscribe, that would be great. Thank you so much. Bye.